Previously on Uongozi. The race starts now. The person who's going to be eliminated from the Wazalendo team is Rose Nyasuguta. The person to be eliminated from the Kenya Moja team is Herman Muragori. Thank you very much. are down to 12 contestants and the remaining contestants must prove to the judges and ultimately Kenyans that they are the leader that Kenya deserves. The winner of Wongozi will get a six-month leadership prize which will include an all-expenses-paid trip to experience six leadership and governance institutes across four continents – Asia, Africa, Europe and North America. A total of 1.2 million shillings stipend over the six-month period and a 3 million shilling grant to implement a public project of their choice. And to preside over the process are three judges, John Gidongo, Tom Boyer and Mweni Lundi. From time to time, a guest judge is included depending on the task of the week. Just when the contestants started to think they were getting a handle on things, Judge John puts a spin on the competition. Welcome back, Wazalendo and Kenya Moja. You've noticed that we've been joined by a new judge, and that is to my far right, Judge Mumbi Kaigwa. Welcome, Mumbi. The other surprise is that um, I hand over to Tom Boyer as head judge. The Wazalendo and Kenya Moja teams are going to be reshuffled. I'll invite judges Mweni and Mombi to do the reshuffling. I'd like to invite Hardlin and Joram to move to the Wazalendo side, please. And I'd like uh, Enoch and Kezia to move to the Kenya Moja team. With a new judge on board, Judge Tom taking over the lead judge role and the teams reshuffled, the contestants were now in uncharted territory. Now to the task. Tomorrow you will be raising money for an IDP center. You will be retreating to the common room collectively and you will have four products presented before you and collectively you will choose which two products each team decides to go and sell. Judge John was not done. Yet another surprise from him. For the first time on Uongozi, there is immunity up for grabs by the winning team. Let's see how hard the contestants will battle out for it. The winning team will have immunity from elimination. With that said, Tondeni Kazi, the brief done, the contestants head for the common rooms. First order of business to decide which products go to which team. The products are groundnuts, tissue paper, paper punches and t-shirts. The two teams must agree amongst themselves which products go to Wazalendo and which ones go to Kenya Moja. Remember, there is immunity for the winning team. Will there be a fight? Okay, we'll take the paper punch. So we've decided Zalendo has 50 cones of njugu karanga and 40 paper punches. And Kenya Moja has 50 rolls of toilet paper and the 30 pieces of t-shirts. Are we in, all in agreement? Yeah. Go, go. 
or who the task is. Okay, um, what we'll goes Kenya Moja gets straight to the business of selecting a team leader and Philippe is unanimously chosen. Meanwhile, Waza Lendo have started off. Adeline and Joram, you're most welcome. Thank you. Passing the task, we haven't chosen a leader and I'd wanted to nominate myself because I've done some kind of marketing and stuff like that and also I know very well the area that we're going to, the Prestige Plaza. So, yeah, I'd like to put my name in the hat, as, it, as they say. Yeah, I can second. I have no problem with you being a leader. I second you, since you are well versed with the area, you know the area, so, yeah. Both teams are now in the thick of business, discussing their respective pricing strategies. Um, we must make sure that we raise funds uh, more than the other team. I would suggest maybe we, we have a thousand mark price, but then it becomes flexible. We are supposed to be realistic. Perhaps maybe say the value of the toilet paper, the price, maybe twice the supermarket, so that they'll be buying the cost and not the supermarket. The disadvantage that we have is that they have t-shirts, and t-shirts just in general sell more money. So even if they sold, even if they're selling them for 500 shillings, and they sell 10 of them, it's going to be harder for us to make that. But we'll figure it out. So, um, we're supposed to sell these tomorrow via phone and in person. So, what we should do first is um, figure out the price. Evelyn Gakinya of Kenya Moja introduces a very interesting idea to her team. Because we said that we have some raffles that we're selling. This one, we sell each raffle at 50 bob. And somebody can either win a tissue or a, a t-shirt. But we know one t-shirt is only it is only one t-shirt is about five tissues. That means that one can work. Okay. Is she suggesting doctoring the raffle? In usual Joram style, he confounds us with language as he explains the similarities between ground nuts and paper punches. Jugu karanga and paper 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 punch have something in common. Uh, their uh, modus operandi is the same. When you chew njugu karanga, you, you engage upper and lower teeth. And when you want to poke a hole on a paper, you apply the same same principle. One thing um, I know is accepted in any market, njugus. Of course. What I'm foreseeing, probably it could be a good day to buy lots of paper punches but we have to strategize lots on, on, on paper punch. In Jugu, it's easier, it's, it's, it's easier, it's easier consumed by, by, uh, by any person. Of course. If let's say we reach there, we set our table. Mm -hmm. With no more Aiden to pick quarrels with, Kezia was now a very peaceful and productive member of Kenya Moja. So we set the table mm -hmm. while the others are calling, we're also trying to. Kezia is playing it very safe, you know, coming in very softly. Um, uh, so we'll see how it goes by the end of the task. Okay, I was suggesting that we have a strategy. Since we have been allowed to call people we know, so I'll, maybe we can find out how many of us know people around and if we sell them the idea, how, or like how much can they buy, yeah, for how much, if it's the Njugu, if they can give us 500 for one corn, then it will be a plus for us. Everyone should have something they're going to sell by phone, and we have to take that aside. Then the rest, we now decide that those are the ones we're going to sell on the ground. And Kenya Moja ends their deliberation after a word from their leader. But we have a personal responsibility to make sure that the team wins. Yeah. It's as simple as that. And Eunice shares her marketing expertise with her team. And I know you don't want me to mention, but they're good. You have to see the logic that their good is goods are higher in price than ours. No one is going to sell a t-shirt for 50 shillings. The njugu karanga will be easy. I mean, it's something that you can snack on very quickly. But the paper punches will be more difficult. But the thing is that if we explain what the reason is, why we're selling them for, what the cause is, many people would be very receptive to that. But 24,000 is now the minimum that we have to raise okay. selling and everything. We're going to try and sell everything. Can you have Oh, yeah. 
Coming up on Uongozi. You can't sit in your house enjoying Christmas knowing... My party knowing, just to say peace should be there. Yes, but the Kibaki should know what to do. Yeah. It's like you having a wife. Why should someone help your wife and you are there as a husband? Leo! Leo! Kenya Moja and Wazalendo have just embarked on a task to fundraise for internally displaced persons. Kenya Moja picked t-shirts and tissue paper as their merchandise while Wazalendo picked roasted peanuts and paper punches. The team soon head off to the Prestige Plaza where the task is set to take place. Let's join in on the action. Kenya Moja start off with a prayer from Zainab, no doubt to ask for divine intervention to help them raise more money. And Kenya Moja are off. We can go to the parking too. Don't go inside. But you can go to the parking. Why don't we approach this? Let's do that. Meanwhile, Eunice, leader of Wazalendo, is organizing her team. The three will just go up and down this area. I really, at this point, don't think it's necessary to be at the top. So guys, let's suck it up. We have to win this. Remember, the immunity is at stake. So if you can try and not get less than 2,000 on a call, try and have those people do their small harambe themselves to, to bring you 2,000 for every punch that you're trying to sell. You're free to go with us there. That is where our desk is. It is okay, it's okay. You're really welcome and you can come even with another person. Thank you. Yes. Enoch and Evelyn attempt to make their first sale unsuccessfully. Wazalendo don't seem to have much success on their first attempt either. <laughs> Maybe I'll go for Njoku Konjuku because how is that thing? Yeah. Oh, it'll be better. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah. Okay. And the disappointments keep coming and coming, making Joram lose his bearing. Philippe tries to get a new strategy for his team. We let the ladies go. Yeah. So, for us, we'll just stand behind you. Yeah. So, yeah. for us, a man, yeah. if it's a man yeah, we are going to do that because we know how we can talk to men. Eh? Yeah. He's gone. And then they proceed to do the exact opposite of what they have agreed on. Uh, a good Christmas for, for the IDPs. We are selling two items here. These are ground nuts and these are paper punch. A paper punch we are selling at 500 shillings or more according to your, your philanthropy. And a ground nut is going for 200 shillings or more. So what can I buy? Any of this? Was a Lendo get their first taste of success? Two cons. Yeah. Mine is only two. Fine, so we have the peanuts and we have this. Peanuts one is what? 200 at all. Mm. But you can always give more. Mm. Yeah. Look, two of, uh, two yes, mm. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah. And so does Kenya Moja. Okay, thank you. Ah, thank you. Yeah. We are fundraising for IDPs at Prestige Plaza on Congo. So uh, if you can come down and you know buy Jugukaranga for 200 to 50, the money is going to a very worthy cause. Well, we're doing very well. The phones are working, we have pledges, some of them have already come through to the Mpesa and our team who is working out, ourselves as well, we're making, we're making progress. I think the IDP um, situation is still very fresh in many people's minds and they want to help in any way that they can. Solomon pulls all stops to get a customer. There's a t-shirt there, a very beautiful t-shirt. Just one the idea behind it, I love you can make a decision. Na kuomba tafadhali. Joe, 
Naweza kupigia baadaye tu confirm alafu ndio wajue. Lakini si itakuja na jina lako John Mrutu sio? Our spirits were first dumping when it just arrived. But eventually when people are moving in and our products were moving then again it really energized it really motivated us as you chew your groundnut it reminds you as you chew one by one my fellow is in 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 cold so we thought it's a what it cost aiden as is determined yes. to so make are, a sale and joram so is more than so willing to help it really be appreciated because it shall have uh, supported that young child in the uh, idp camp or even those uh, women who are in the camp languishing in the camp over this time uh, of uh, festive period. Uh, we talk to them, they understand, they say, I'll buy this. Uh, I'll pick this towards supporting this cause. So Kenyans are empathetic. Yeah. Enoch and Philippe are Hello. facing a language you? barrier problem. Yes, a moment with you. No, we don't speak. OK, OK, fine. <laughs> Eunice is facing a similar problem. All the yeah, I don't speak very well English. You don't speak very well English? Yeah. Okay, thank you. They always say that in perfect English too. Leo! Leo, Leo! The concept of raising funds for internally displaced persons is proving hard for some potential clients to swallow. Yeah. What I'm saying, those people in the parliament, yes. they are the people who caused that problem. Yes. So you should go there yeah. and they give money. It is embarrassing that you still have IDP today. No, I leave them. I yes. better help somebody who is disabled, but not somebody who is speaking in the IDP. Yeah. But you can at least do something no. to let them walk now. I'll do it to the disabled, but not to those yeah. who are seated dying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. But I think this is for Obdulit, it's a government responsibility. But no, also us as the Kenyans, we should also support our brothers and sisters who are stuck where they're not supposed to be at this time. Four but five you years see, after it's the clear thing is you tell Kibaki because he's in power but right if now. But he, he let him do his part and we do our part as well. You can't sit in your house enjoying Christmas knowing... My part knowing, is just to say peace should be there. Yes, But peace. Kibaki should know what to do. But we Kenyans should also help. No, which, which way? You don't think that we should as a, as a people help them? Why? If I that does go to is like you having a wife. Why should someone help your wife and you are there as a husband? No, we have understood. Thank you so much. Yes. Hey, we can be here the whole day. <laughs> some, some are asking us, isn't it the, the responsibility of the government to, to take these guys out, out of IDP camp? We explain to them that it's I. It starts with me, it starts with him and, 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 and the person. We can't wait for government to solve all our problems. We are capable, we are philanthropic Kenyans, we are capable of solving our problems. So we felt it's a worthy, it's a worthy uh, fundraising. We are energized. And Njugu is going The teams to are now on a roll and are selling a lot of their items. You said you are married. Married. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Then send it fast, please. I send it quickly. Yeah, quickly. Okay. So, now we have dollar. Huh? Hey, well dollar. Hey. I think they're performing well together. There was a little bit of nervous tension in the morning, but uh, it seems like it's calmed down a little bit. Everybody's got their rhythm now. And then can I Raja. 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 Two thousand Kenya shillings via M Pes. No arguments from Kazia today. Not yet, anyway. I'm already doing these things. Yeah, but you need to take her from you as a person, yeah, yeah. not from the red Oh, sure, okay. The task is playing out excellently. This is because we have very items, very few items left. And uh, we have so much time left, according to what I can see, we've been able to achieve within a short time. What I think we can do yeah. is take this, this rap and R4. 
we make sure these ones actually get as in ends. This is the issue. Then we pack these tissues we had said we are going to sell them at a hundred. We put two tissues at three hundred and tell people it is only one t-shirt to be to be worn. To be worn. Uh, Evelyn was pretty strong all the way since they started preparing for the task. She's been very clear about the raffle. She was not being moved from that raffle idea. I'm sure you are lucky. That is the word of honor. Terrific! <laughs> so she's the t the she's the she's got the t-shirt. Yeah, she got the so this is going for five hundred or more. And we are also sharing in jubos. So according to how we chopped on the on the phone, I played you at the other side. Eh? Yeah, we were right one pepper right. punch uh -huh. and five groundnuts. I need you to come over. The pepper punch is at 500 shillings and the groundnuts, we are closing at exactly three. So I need you to come over. Please, this team is more organized. Yeah, we are more organized and more focused. Yeah, so um, I'm really happy to be in this new team. Kenya Moda seem to be having a little disagreement and Gakinya will simply not let the raffle idea go. The objective is to raise as much money as possible. So if there is a viable idea that will give us more money, we have to Let us try Solomon. Let's be realistic. If any of you want to go for that cash as much as, as huge as a mammoth, but let's be realistic. Let me finish. The discussion that just ensued a few minutes ago was whether to increase the, the price of the raffle. Gakinya's idea was that we increase the raffle, the price of the raffle by from 200 to 350. I was for the idea because the objective here is to raise as much money as possible for the IDP camp. To support the bus. Thank you. God bless you. How much for this one? 500. It's okay, I'll bring one next. You buy one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let, let her take you to the, our, the person who writes you a receipt, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Merry very Christmas. Good. Merry Christmas. Good deal. As the task nears the end, Philippe and Enoch are still trying to sell the few remaining items. They receive word from Solomon that everything except one roll of tissue has been sold. <laughs> I think we, 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 are, we are going on well and uh, we are about to meet the target. Solomon makes the final sale for Kenya Moja and as soon as they receive confirmation of the mobile money transfer, they declare the task finished. Uh, you know that the contest was all about raising the much money that we can raise as a team. And I believe that we did our best and we are going to emerge as a winner. The task is now over for both teams. Coming up on Uongozi. We had to go as part the leader and the group. You weren't working as a team, you were working as a team for IDPs. I think you were leading from in front, but from a position of lying down. Now I'm getting educated right here. Uh, on that. Getting educated of what? Why is it convenient for you to forget that particular rule at that particular moment in time? Leo! Leo It is now the morning after the task and both teams are at the Boma Hotel to meet Dr. Abbas Goulet of the Red Cross. The Boma Hotel was built by the Red Cross to create sustainable profits and income, all of which goes to support the Kenya Red Cross humanitarian operations. This is our team, the Wazalendo team. We were able to sell all the merchandise and finish before um, the time that we were uh, allocated. Ngozi is a very necessary process. We as leaders have now um, been put under the microscope and we are now learning the virtues, the values 
and the, and the qualities a real leader should have. And we believe as Wazalendo that we are trying to inspire a generation of Kenyans to believe that they are the change, that they are the leaders that can... The teams want to hand over the money they have raised to Dr. Goulet, who will ensure that it gets to the internally displaced persons. We want to take this chance to present the cash to you. And uh, we are really grateful because we know that you are doing a good job. And we know that this money will be used in the right way. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and a thousand Kenyan shillings. Thank you. Thank you. Leadership is about me and you. Ordinary Kenyans that can make uh, things and that can also do extraordinary things. What you have just narrated to me this morning of what you did yesterday between the two groups just goes to show that it is possible. I'd like to really congratulate the leadership of Wongozi for having really uh, come to this and really is to say that we as young people, we should say never again. After a few words of advice from Dr. Goulet, it was time to head to the situation room where someone would be eliminated. It is now time for the contestants to be in the hot seat and face the judges. They don't know who won the task, but one thing is certain, someone is going home. Judge Tom, our new lead judge, sets things in motion. Having completed the task, I wonder if anybody is confident enough to say that they believe they are the winner. Do we have that kind of confidence? You think yes. so? Yes. yes. What we would like to do now is uh, to invite the team leaders uh, to tell us about uh, how they believe they fared in this particular task. Overall, it went very well. Our stock finished way before the time that was allocated, and we just had to stay for people who are coming to pick up the rest of the, um, what they had ordered pledged. So overall, as a team, we were very happy. It was well coordinated. Um, there were no hang-ups, and there was no product left over, and I think we raised a lot of money for a good cause. We had uh, approximately three strategies to work on. The first one was uh, we, uh, we had a team which uh, was supposed to play PR. We knew that it would be difficult for us to sell the 50 rolls of um, uh, tissue papers. So we decided to come up with a second strategy whereby we are going to use raffle tickets, whereby any person who wanted to buy the raffle ticket will have two chances, either to win a, a roll of tissue paper or a, 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 a t-shirt. At this point, I will invite my colleagues to declare the returns of the exercise, starting with Mui. Kenya Moja. Mobile money transfers amounted to 7,030 shillings, well done. Cash sales amounted to 27,000 shillings. So in total, you collected 34,030 shillings. Congratulations. Wazalendo, your mobile money transfer proceeds were 20,810 and your cash proceeds were 37,200. Your total was 58,010 shillings. Was and Lendo take it with a clear winning margin of over 24,000 shillings. Yeah. Kenya Moja trail having raised 34,000 shillings. This means Was and Lendo have immunity. They can sit safe for this elimination anyway. Your reward will be uh, a movie later today uh, at the IMAX. Judge Mumbi gets right um, into it. I'd like to ask the Wazalendo team, and in particular, I'd like to start with the team leader. What, what makes you think you were successful? The IDP topic is still, you know, very, very real in the minds of many Kenyans. So if they hear that we're trying to help and then we also push that it's Christmas, that um, it's the season of giving, the spirit of giving. So I think that's also what made it um, easier for people to give, surprisingly so. Maybe I'd like to ask Kenya Moja, in your, in your uh, impression, where did things go wrong for you? I believe that as a team we did our best because we had three strategies to work it out. I was with Enoch uh, on the ground. Majority of us decided to go on the ground. The only person who remained at the, at the stand was uh, Solomon and uh, Kezia, if I remember very well. Uh, the rest were on the ground. 
during the carrying out of the task, you would each take a turn to use the phone. What happened? Why didn't you? I think. Okay. Mm. Yeah, well, let's hear from Zainab. Uh, yes. We left uh, Kezi and Solomon at the stand mm -hmm. and we went on the ground. But uh, there was a time that uh, we were exchanging. I told Solomon to go so that I can remain behind with Kezia and make my calls. And mm -hmm. I made my calls mm -hmm. and uh, the money was sent through the money transfer. But I think for them, they maybe went, but they didn't come back for the calling. You set your minimum rate for the T-shirt at 800 during your planning period. Yeah. Yet when you went to the ground, this went down to the first person who sold the T-shirt sold it for 500 shillings. What happened? Judge Mweni wants straight answers to some hard questions. You are looking at issues like the level of income of an interested uh, customer and a Kenyan for that matter that will be interested to buy and help the IDPs. Uh, now you're so just beating about the bush. No, that... you, you very clearly, laid, because you had a lengthy discussion about the pricing. Uh, Kezia, there was at one point when you talked about, and you were very clear about this, in terms of the uh, amount to sell the t-shirts for. Yes. Why didn't you follow up on this issue of how much the t-shirts cost and how much they should be for, uh, selling for? I cautioned. I said, this is not what we'd agreed. At least we'd stuck on 500, uh, 800. Least, let's try and sell it at a higher price. Then again, I was reminded we can't bring issues which we had not uh, settled on. So, I took... Did you discuss and raise this issue with your team leader? We raised. No, I, you. I, as a person, raised. Yes, I raised that issue. Let's not sell these t-shirts at 500. It's still too early to sell, to sell the t-shirts at 500. But again, the, the whole motion had to be voted. And I didn't want to be seen as the black sheep who wants to keep on bringing things which we discussed again at her. So we had to go as per the leader and the group. So you are worrying about yourself as an, you, uh, uh, personally, as opposed to we are supposed to be raising money for IDPs for Christmas. That is our goal. It's My goal like, is not to play safe and, you know, yeah. it, sounds judge like many, everybody, it sounds judge like many everybody was judges, trying to... I agree with you people. I stuck on that price and I for once I'll say there's no t-shirt I sold at less than a thousand. You weren't working as a team, you were working as a team for IDPs and I, what I hear is that you were busy trying to look good for yourselves. Maybe let me ask uh, Evelyn, your, mm -hmm. your, your failed raffle strategy, what role do you think that played in, uh, in your team failing to, uh, to win the task and how do you take responsibility for it? Actually, my uh, raf uh, raffle, it wasn't a failed strategy because for it to have been agreed, I had already made the, the team to understand how I'm try trying to raise more money than would have raised because I asked the team to give me 10 tissues which they had said that they would sell at a hard red bob. Initially, the minimum. And the t-shirt would go for 800 a minimum. Again, that you're one, going in circles. No, that one... Be very would, clear. Be yes. very, very clear and concise. Yeah. Let's stop yeah. beating about the bush. Yes. And, you know, so, looking for excuses all over. Yeah, from 18, from the 10 tissue and one t-shirt would have made a minimum of 1800. Then I told them, let us go for the raffle, which would give us 2200. This is because we would have 11 raffles and each raffle would go for uh, 200. Kenya takes the judges through some mathematical calculations. It's in 600 extra because it would be 22 minus the 1800. Evelyn, why are you playing to take responsibility? Yeah, and why, actually, why is your why is your target 600 shillings mm, uh, when you've already said mm -hmm. as a group that yeah. you had a hundred thousand shillings as your target? I told the people. I told think you people. We made it very little, and we I think we can sell the raffle for 1,000. And the people said this is not realistic. This is not realistic. And it was voted against. And actually, I remember very well raising only my hand where it was said, no, we cannot go to this because it is not realistic. Now, second thing again with your raffle, you wanted to con your customers. <laughs> Thank goodness you at least the group yes. took a break on that. Yeah, Ooh. because she wanted to have a raffle and not put the t-shirt in the raffle because there were only two t-shirts or one t-shirt left. So they'd have a run, one round of the raffle without a t-shirt. So doesn't that kind of defeat your argument of also, that raffle um, being the best also, way to raise money? To, 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 to yeah. I actually told the group we can, we have a one way I'm thinking of doing. We can either put the raffles and remove the t-shirt the, the, the which is in the raffle that contains the t-shirt out, out of this 
this box that is going to be holding. Immediately, I listened to what I had said, and I said, "Is it?" Isn't it going? Is it not going to compromise on our integrity? I remember the leader saying that it is a crisis and it is going to save us on this crisis. But still, I said no. I had to think uh, we should think about that. Let us first of all finish the raffles that we have, and then if it will need be, then we are going to come and we are going to discuss on this so that we cannot cheat on our on our client who are going to buy. So actually even that uh, idea of, of removing, I rejected it myself, though it might have been supported. When I reached the, the, reached the, the issue of uh, integrity myself as a proposer, actually it lost faith. And so even in, as in at the long last, we didn't come back to the but idea. But you thought it? Yes. I, I, the, I you thought it? Yes, I thought it and I remember saying, Yes, I remember Philip. very well that I gave Gakinya. Hang on, Philip. Hang yeah. on. Shouldn't that have been your job as a team leader to question whether that is the best way for the team to raise the money? The target was for us to make sure that we raise the most money. But uh, but uh, majority of the, 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 the team members had, had, had pushed for an agenda and they agreed on it that uh, we work on the raffle and the target should be a maximum of 1,000 Kenyan shillings and a minimum of Kenyan shillings 350. I think just, just to, um, to say what I'm hearing here is you are offering people a low price and of course if I'm a buyer I'm going to take the lower price mm. rather than the higher one. If I'm offered the higher price then, I, then maybe I might wonder about it but then I would ask you to give me your argument. But you were already deciding on the lower price, the lower end price for your um, prospective clients and I think that maybe in my view, you may have shot yourselves in the foot. Maybe when it comes to pricing, maybe we miscalculated. Because by the end of the day, as, as, as a team, we had to remember that uh, we had to work with the limit, uh, uh, the lowest price and the highest price. I think uh, after making a decision as a team, maybe uh, some, some of our members maybe went there and they became flexible. While Wazalendo may have immunity, they did not escape the scrutiny of Judge Mumbi and she wanted answers. There were things that I noticed when I was uh, observing the Wazalendo team that I want to ask questions about. There was an amount of money that was invalidated by the chair or by the um, team leader. Joram, you're the one who received some of this money. The rules were clear that you cannot receive money and not exchange it with an item. So why did you agree to receive money for which you did not then exchange anything? We were out uh, meeting the public. The fundraising involved people who um, did not have our constitution at hand. Our constitution in this case was the task uh, sheet and uh, section 6 of the task sheet invalidate a transaction that happens with no exchange of goods. But I met um, uh, I mean um, an I IDP supporter who said that he doesn't have so much money and he really likes what we are doing. He would like to contribute towards this cause. And I was like uh, we have two items we are selling for the same. We have the um, um, pepper punch and uh, the, the cons of, uh, of peanuts. And uh, one goes for 200, the other one goes for, for, for 500, uh, I mean in the minimum. And he said, I only have these 50 shillings and I feel I want to contribute to this course. So I felt it would have been disheartening to a member of the public or a Kenyan who feels that he has something to contribute. But Joram, yes. you knew the rules. Why did you take the money, Joram? Uh, he insisted and uh, I, I did. Why did you not insist not back? Mm. Because uh, he wanted to make a contribution, yes. but by not following the rules, then that would not be a contribution. It wouldn't count. If you told him that yeah. the rules stipulate that there must be a, a, a payment of a certain amount and that there must be an exchange, he would have understood, surely. Because they think they contributed to your cause, but that Whereas money was that money did not go towards the mm. contribution that you made today. So, so the person is going to be him. sitting at home so he's out of looking pocket 50 shillings. and he's out of pocket 50 shillings. And he's thinking that he contributed to that cause that you were uh, um, raising money for. But he didn't. He actually didn't. 
then I'm getting educated right here uh, on that particular <laughs> Joram, <laughs> you're the one who's telling us about the Constitution Section 6. No, no, no. So are you getting educated or what? Why is it convenient for you to forget that particular rule at that particular moment in time? And well, then say, oh, okay, I didn't know about it. Having had enough, the judges ask the contestants to leave for them to deliberate and reach a decision. I would like to take this opportunity to ask you to leave the room so that we, uh, as the panel, can sit and deliberate. Thank you. Leo! Leo Colleagues, the time has come. We have uh, some difficult decisions to make. Uh, or perhaps not so difficult. I mean, I think that uh, certainly for me, I have uh, glaring questions about uh, the leadership of Philippe in this particular task mm -hmm. uh, and I have significant concerns about uh, Evelyn mm -hmm. uh, and some of the decisions that she made uh, in the execution of this task. Who do we eliminate? The leader who was not able to guide his team and was scared of taking decisions on behalf of the group when uh, he had the responsibility to do that. And when they needed him and to do that. And when they needed him to do that. Mm. Put his foot not down and say, this idea, yes, 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 you're pushing it a lot, but it might not work for us. Do we eliminate the person who stubbornly sticks to an idea because it is their idea and not because it's the best idea to get the job done? And who shows no remorse <laughs> or does not acknowledge that mistake? Mm. And also, on top of that, uh, faced with a... Uh, I think the, the con game thing, uh, even while saying that there was a mistake, make, will refuses to take responsibility that this had actually come as a, as a weakness in them. For me, Evelyn is an interesting individual because she confesses that she had a con game going on, which is a difficult thing to, to do. I mean, it to is. say that you're a, you're, you're a con person is not something that, you know, you, <laughs> you say very often. Uh, you know, she looked at it as, you know, not being a good idea in terms of, you know, maybe it might not be the best in the best interest of the team, rather than recognizing that it's outright deceit. Yes, yes, absolutely. You know. uh, for me, that's really scary because I'm thinking of the kind of leader who, one, does not accept that they're making a mistake or they're taking the wrong path, and two, that uh, for some of the mistakes that they're making or for, for some of the decisions that are hurtful, for the group, and not just for the group, but for a larger community that you're supposed to be serving, they don't see that and mm. are likely to repeat that because it is their idea. Yeah. So it cannot be wrong as long as uh, as long as it's theirs. Mm. That for me is scary. It yeah. is the it is the lack of remorse yeah. uh, that is a particular concern. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because how far is that removed from somebody who would take advantage of yeah. the situation of IDPs mm. to raise money and pocket it? Yeah. Mm. I'm sick and tired of that. I think it we've, needs to we've change. Had enough of we that. have, yeah. And this is how we're going to change. It seems to me as if we may have a decision. Leo, Leo, uh, let me make the first to uh, the side that will not be losing. Judge Tom fires off, and Joram is first in line. Uh, Joram, actually, you are lucky that you have immunity today because a issue, an issue arose that caused each one of us as judges uh, significant concern. Uh, and that was uh, the issue of the 50 shillings, which you took, though you, know, full, you knew fully well that what the rules were, and that you knew that because there had not been an exchange, it was not acceptable to take that 50 shillings. Essentially then, so somebody out there is 50 shillings out of pocket. Uh, and for us, we found that to be unacceptable. So, like I said, it is fortunate for you that you are on the winning team today that uh, is not subject to, uh, to elimination. Uh, but had that not been the case, then you might very well have been uh, a candidate for elimination today. Kenya Moja, you've been on the winning end of the different tasks until this last fundraising task that we did. Solomon, you fell down on this task very, very badly. You've been a strong contender from the very beginning, but for this task, you were one of the weakest links. As a person holding the phone, of the person spending most of the time on phone, who could have raised the most money from the mobile, the mobile money transfers? 
you did very little with it with, with that in the five hours and that's where the group could have made the most money what stopped you from making those phone calls on their behalf by asking for those lists what stopped you from trying to get more people apart from the few friends that you spoke to philip as a group were busy being busy and you as a leader were not showing leadership you were not telling people in the group this is what we're going to do. This is what we decided in the common room. This is what we are going to go forward with. That idea doesn't work. This idea I feel works. Or coming up with ideas of your own. You say you were leading from in front. I think you were leading from in front, but from a position of lying down. We have come to a decision. And we have decided that the person to be eliminated at this point. Is Evelyn. Congratulations to those of you who remain within this competition. You may now breathe to the winning team. You now have an opportunity to go and uh, enjoy yourselves for a short while. We shall see you again for the next task. Thank you. Evelyn Gakinya will be leaving us tonight, but not without a parting shot. One thing I believe is that chance and time is given to all, and, and, and it doesn't belong to the swift, nor to the strong but chance and time is given to all. I have a strategy in life which says that uh, the best way to win any other race is forgetting the past failures and also forgetting the, as in the, the, the past victories. It is evening and the winning team, Wazalendo, are enjoying the benefits of their success. Hi. Hi. Okay. The nine o'clock one. How many do you want? Yeah. How many? Six. Six. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy the movie. Okay. Hello, how are you? Thank you. Great. Welcome to our theatre. Thank Please you. Have your drink and have a seat. Wait for the movie. All right, thank we you. We are currently showing The Hobbit. It will be running from 9 to 12 midnight. Uh -huh. So, feel welcome. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Hello, how are you? Have a drink and please sit down. We put in a lot of work, a lot of dedication into raising money for a very important cause. So, it feels great to be here. Enjoying, first of all, was Orlando as a team enjoying a prize. So it's good to be here together in, you know, a casual um, circumstance, not actually working at a task, and enjoying ourselves. So it's a, um, it's a good experience. We have come to the end of tonight's show, and until next time, this has been Uongozi. <laughs> Next time on Uongozi. Mr. Kabadi, you have a right to go to the Man, this is where it's And then the calling of the flag. If we are blighter than it is. Uh, we have here as in our home, Nyamila. <laughs> I want to see it now live, live. I don't feel like they're hungry to win.